Okay, so good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Karen Arthur, and I am a um, executive coach and a, a, a trainer as well. So I thought we'd tell you a little bit about um, about me. Uh, I am a former CEO, um, and I I was a CEO for about seven years, um, and then started up my own coaching business back in twenty seventeen. Um, so I started off just uh, just as a coach and then moved into um, delivering uh, sort of group coaching and then into delivering training as well. So over the, the COVID period, it um, it was mostly online and mostly online training that, that I did. Um, I've been lucky enough to to win a couple of awards um, for for uh, coaching and for for training as well. Um, and uh, it's something that is my um, deep passion and is definitely my why. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Now, having been in corporate world for, for such a long time, um, I feel like, yeah, this was definitely what I was meant to do. Um, I have a few professional services that I deliver. So um, I uh, obviously deliver CEO coaching and executive coaching. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more in depth about what that involves um, when uh, in a second. I also deliver um, leadership training and um, online and in person. So the, the online, um, there are certain courses that I do um, for, for the online because they um, are much better online um, and the in, in-person ones, um, various different uh, uh, courses that I do for that. So um, I've got a, a whole sort of menu of uh, uh, training that I do and I can also adapt training for for individuals or for individual companies as well, make it very bespoke for them, which um, uh, which I do quite a lot. Uh, the training that I, I delivered last week was um, uh, in-house, uh, train the trainer uh, for a specific company. And it was really about, um, I made it very specific for them and very specific for the people who will be delivering the training for them. So I could do that um, for, for any companies. I do lots of sort of step into leadership training, um, directors workshops, all of those sorts of things are all under my, my um, training banner. Um, I also uh, deliver lots of behavioural uh, profiling and also building effective teams as well. So um, I work with companies that are perhaps, um, you know, they may well have a challenge in a project team or they may well have a project in a, a challenge in a department or even just they, they want their productivity to be better. So I can work with those guys after uh, doing some behavioral profiling with them in order to ensure that uh, they get the maximum out of their, their teams. Okay, so I am often asked then, what is CEO coaching? What makes it what makes it different from the coaching that you do, uh, the other coaching that you do? So all coaching that uh, is executive coaching is all one-to-one. Um, -one. Um, but the difference, I guess, for the CEO coaching is that it's very structured and focused. Um, and it's a type of professional development where CEOs are... Um, uh, work or executives work with a coach to improve their leadership and management skills. So as a, co a coach, I provide guidance, I su uh, provide support and feedback to help the coach identify areas perhaps that they need to grow in um, and develop development strategies to achieve their, their goals as well. Also in CEO coaching um, it can cover a, a really a wide range of topics some of the most common ones are uh, communication decision making um, team management and strategic planning um, I always set off with a sort of structure which be, is based around self-awareness self-confidence and behavioral traits so it really understanding how the executive ceo is behaving and how they are impacting the rest of uh, their their team and also their their workforce at, at large how are they behaving that's impacting all of those people once we understand that then we can begin to get down to the nitty-gritties and really have a look at the strategies for them to achieve their goals um, I guess the ultimate aim of CEO co coaching is to help that person become effective and successful in their role, 
which then leads to perhaps better organization uh, but better organizational outcomes um, and um, also just a much happier, more engaged, more uh, connected workforce as well. And one thing that we do um, or uh, during these, these coaching sessions is we measure the outcomes. So there's always an outcome um, to be measured and also output from each of the, the, the meetings that people take away with them. Um, I really spend time trying to figure out what what uh, clients actually need um, and the, the the sort of client benefits that they will get. I constantly review my offer in order to make sure that um, I'm I'm delivering the best that I can for my clients. Um, so I spend a lot of time, as I said, on self development for them. Um, I'm really focused on the fact that they are fully engaged and consistent leaders. Consistency is a really big part of how people um, are behaving um, on a consistent level. They need to do that in order for, for trust um, to be built within their organization. I also focus a lot and support them through understanding their own core values and how those or core drivers, probably better explanation, their own core drivers and how they actually fit with the core values of the organization. Because sometimes if there's a disparity, it's more difficult for people to understand exactly, you know, why their messages aren't getting over, why their communication's not being um, received the way that they had uh, intended it. Um, also, I support them uh, to be their authentic self. I know that it's a wee bit of a cliche, but uh, but to be the best um, representation of themselves that they can be um, and that their communication is effective and that it is engaging and that it is reaching um, the ears of the people that it needs to, to reach. And that's not just their, uh, their workforce, it's their uh, stakeholders, their clients, all of those things. It's, it's a, a sort of... Um, holistic approach to um, leadership and hopefully um, you know all of these things will help create that happy fulfilled teams happy fulfilled organization that's going to go on to deliver lots of um, results I've got a few case studies that um, I, I talk about so I, I won't have time to go into all three of them but let me just tell you um, one about um, a CEO that I'm working with at the moment um, it is a global luxury brand um, and he, um, yeah, he, he's been very aware now of how his behaviour has affected the organisation. He's a proper visionary. He's got real ideas of where the organisation's going to go um, and what it needs to do, but he also um, communicates in his own style. Um, and his own behavioural traits, which means that it doesn't reach an awful lot of his organisation because they are, um, uh, they're not receiving the message in the way that, that he intended it to be sent. So we've worked a lot on that. We've worked a lot on the wording that he uses, the communication styles that he's using, his informal type um, behaviours, which can lead to formal behaviours or, or being seen as formal behaviours by many of his team. Um, and also, we've really worked hard on understanding the wider um, behaviours of the organisation and how that is impacting on the progress that he wants to make. Um, so, yeah, they're, as I say, a, 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 a global brand that um, they're doing investment at the moment with, with an American investor um, for up to 100 million um, so he really needs his team working to their sort of optimum level. They are all, you know, a happy, engaged team, but just the communication is just not right. Things are not getting done at the right time, all of those sorts of things. So that's one case study. If you'd like to hear any more, give me a shout and I can talk you through some more. Um, so I guess in conclusion then, um, coaching and training can have numerous benefits for individuals and organisations. Um, they can improve uh, employee performance and productivity it can also boost morale and job satisfaction and just why people want to be in the organization that they're in coaching on an individual basis can develop people's personal um their personal skills executive coaching um, really helps to identify 
over and overcome obstacles and behaviours that may be hindering the personal development or professional growth of a leader within an organisation. Training um, can provide employees with new skills, knowledge, and also make them far more valuable assets to the organisation. So I guess overall, investing in coaching and training can lead to more skills um, and a more motivated and successful workforce. Um, if anyone would like to understand how their behaviours um, are uh, impacting on their business, how they are um, perhaps holding back the business or perhaps um, just not getting to the optimum level that, that you think that you may get to, then give me a shout. I am more than happy to uh, take you through uh, the, the tools that I use and um, I can then do an analysis with you. It takes about an hour, um, but uh, that's that'll be my gift to you today. Uh, and if I can ask you to perhaps help me, the things I would really like to do is to speak to many more CEOs, um, managing directors, company directors, leaders, HR or training directors, or even um, business owners um, who are perhaps at this point in time, perhaps stuck where they are. Um, it's an absolutely no obligation chat um, uh, with me, absolutely no obligation. I'm just on a mission to help as many people as I can understand their business and uh, understand uh, you know, how strategy can be optimised by uh, just better use of um, uh, their, uh, better use of their, of their skills. Um, so if, if you know anyone that would like a chat with me, then please uh, send them my way. I'd be more than happy to talk to them. Sorry about the presentation. Don't quite know what happened there, but hopefully we got there anyway, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have.